Okay. Snafu. The brainstorm is in effect, and once I step to the mic, I create the set. You've probably never heard lyrics quite like this, and so the message that is given, I hope you don't miss. Now please don't down me, I'm just trying my best. Yes, another statistical reject asking for respect. I'm not guided by fame, by fortune or greed. It's why, where others have failed, I will succeed. You see, I am a poet like no other. Ebonically speaking, word to your mother. I'm not a mind reader, no, not a fortune teller. I'm like the genie in the bottle from beneath the wine cellar. Now pop the cork and smell my lyrical rhymes, dating as far back to the beginning of time. Some call me square, kids call me antique. But if you listen long enough, I'll knock you off your feet. Yes, to modern day society, my style is quite lame. But the overall message is straight off the chain. You see, thunder sound hypnotized my brain. Hence, the wild beast inside was instantly tamed. Yes, the brainstorm is in effect. Now that I've stepped to this mic, I will create the set. I'll start from the beginning, following through to the end, telling where we're going, where we are, and where we've been. With thoughts guided by experiences that kept me on the ground, well, let's just say that as a young man, I've been around. Around this world and back again, a lifetime of destruction aided by sin. Guided by a society like this, the true purpose of my life I almost missed. Now, sit back and relax and ease your mind while receiving the message in this lyrical rhyme. Mm, metaphorically speaking, in modern day it seems, the color of man is silver, copper, or green. Well, that's money. You know, coins and dollar bills. The spot in the carnal man's heart you can't feel. It's not to say that having money is all bad, but if put above yourself and others, it could drive you mad. I don't create my lyrics to hear screams and hollers. I have no need for praise and stardom, so don't even bother. You see, power, success, and fame clouds the brain, and instead of joy and happiness, they cause you pain. Like Jimi Hendrix, Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, John Belushi, Billie Holiday, and many more. Two powerful predictions we have yet to learn. That heaven's quite real. Hell fire does burn. You see, all you really need is just a little faith. Take up the cross like Jesus Christ and alter your fate. Our actions often says that we think he's a joke. But you will find out all the answers on the day you croak. Yes, that's judgment day. But don't you understand it's the transition of the spirit from the body of man. When God opens a book and then another. But I have not the knowledge to go any further. Now, he did say, judge not that ye be not judged. Prostitutes, winos, politicians, and thugs. Fornicators, adulterers, liars, and thieves. Lust, power, greed, false prosperity. Gossip, envy, confusion, and strife. A cowardly husband who abused his wife. You see, God is not mocked concerning promises he makes. If you follow these roads... Hell will be your fate. Men sleep with men, women sleep with women, unaware of the course they have chosen in living. Plastic surgery, it makes it easy to see those individuals trying desperately to hide their personalities. Thugs selling drugs to keep from doing work, not caring about those they happen to hurt. Cigarettes are sold pack after pack. Society's slowly destroyed by alcohol and crack. You see, TV is an entertainment industry, so we are told. Well, it's to the babysitting industry for the young and the old. 
Why do we put ratings on a movie or TV show when in PG-rated sitcoms, the morals are low? They say it's technology, that these are changing times. I say, who needs change if it warps our minds? <laughs> Sex, drugs, and rock and roll on the uprise? Morals and integrity on a downsize. Technology is what put us in this rut. It's a snafu. Situation normal, all fouled up. It's like looking at where we are compared to where we've come from. Our situation coins the phrase, learning ourselves dumb. In explanation of the term girl or boyfriend, well, that's a man-made justification for fornicative sin. Sodom and Gomorrah, fiction or reality? Well, God's tired of all the crap that's going on in this society. He travels the quasars, the galaxies and moons, and with the sound of his voice, he calls the monsoon. We should all know his message, and I will say it loud. He says, follow me and not the crowd. So many false religions under the earth's sun, omnipotent Jehovah God, there is only one. Statistical predictions for 2005. Most Americans will be still getting drunk and high. You see, I'm not guided by fame, by fortune, or greed. It's why, where others have failed, I will succeed. And that's that. That's, that poem was entitled Snafu. Now, when I did statistical predictions for 2005, the, um, that's because I had wrote that years before, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it was only like a year before. Because um, once I started writing, I just didn't stop. I mean, I wrote a lot of this stuff, I wrote definitely within a year, you know. Just poem after poem after poem. And I'm talking about three, four a day. It's like a, a, a overwhelming sense of relief when I was put in jail. I mean, I, I was put in jail, and it was an overwhelming sense of relief. At first, it wasn't relief. At first, it was, um, it was a lot of grief, <laughs> believe me. But then, I began to see the um, other side, as they would say, that the lifestyle to which I was leading wasn't exactly a productive one you know matter of fact it was counterproductive I was slowly leading to a point of um, suicidal tendency you know through the alcohol abuse through the um, fornication or, or, or adultery should I say because I was married you know going from woman to woman going to bars and stuff like that and it was kind of it was really really interesting and as the as the poems go along, you'll begin to see what it is that I am talking about. So because everything my whole life is described within the poems. So, you know, hey, just keep listening and you'll see. Now the next poem that I'm going to give you is hmm, let's make a choice. Because sometimes they follow in line of of severity. You know, that was a very interesting poem. And so I'm going to give you a one that's interesting just as well, I guess, um, to accentuate. So this poem is entitled, A Guy I Once Knew. Okay? So see you on the next segment for the poem entitled, A Guy I Once Knew. Hmm. You're going to like that.